What's going on guys? Welcome back to a very sad video. Yes, you saw a thumbnail. It's true. There's a dent in the truck already. Or ding, dent, whatever you want to call it. That was not there when we were cleaning it. When uh, when Nick was here, Genesis Detailing, uh, I know this wasn't here because we looked you know, up and down this thing multiple times. I don't know how this got there. It doesn't look like a door ding because of the uh, location of where it's at. Uh, I, I don't, I don't, and I gotta pull it out of the garage. You can't see it in the garage, uh, but I don't know. I don't know what the heck uh, happened. Oh yes, and if you guys see these mirrors, uh, yes, this is something we're working on, trying to, well, me and a designer trying to trying to figure this out. I'm not gonna get get into this right now, but uh, just I'll deal with that when the time comes and when it's closer uh, to the time actually of having some information for you guys. But yeah, so right now we're gonna go ahead to my dent guy and uh, he's slant busy, so I'm gonna go to him because I told him I, I can't wait, man. He wanted to get me in like Friday morning. I was like, no, can't can't do it. And he needs to get done now, please. And uh, well, he said, okay, come to this location. I'll take care of it for you. So I'm going to pull it out here in the sun. And I'm going to see if you guys can uh, see the flaw in uh, this uh, big white girl over here. But first, let's let her warm up. You know, I'm, I'm going to make the video about this truck of there's some things I just cannot stand. And you're probably wondering why are you pointing at the step. Well, you will see uh, what I'm talking about. But we almost got 1,300 miles on the old uh White girl over here. She's getting there, you know. We've been we've been driving her. Bam. Oh, look at that. Just like that. She starts up and starts purring right away. Okay, so it looks like uh can't I tried to show it in the sun, but you can't really see it. Uh the problem is when it, because there's the mirror there, it's all shaded, so you can't really see it on camera. Uh, but there is a dent there. Or a ding, whatever whatever uh, you want to call it. But so we're on the way currently uh, right now to go see my dent guy uh, if you guys remember him he's the one that fixed the dent on uh, the wife's Jeep uh, he fixes all my dents on all the cars he does an amazing job and I'll show you you know how he does it the process and all that you know good stuff and also you guys are uh, asking me Eddie how are you liking the like infotainment system on here um, you know they're like are, are you guys saying are you over it no I'm not over it but I, you know, I mean, it just, it, it looks good. Do I really use it, to be honest with you guys, 100%? No, I don't use it. Uh, you know, I mean, the navigation, everything looks good on here. Um, you know, I, cameras look good, and cameras are amazingly, you know, clear on this thing. But, I mean, other than that, I, you know, keep it on the Bluetooth setting, really. And, I mean, that's about it. Uh, okay, guys, I just noticed what was uh, on the screen there. Uh, no... I, that's not what I think of the, the police. Uh, I just like the song. So, though I, I support uh, the local cops out there. So, no, don't don't think that. It's just good. Yeah, it's a good song. I, I don't know. I like the song and it was in the playlist. So, uh, before the comment section explodes about what was on here. Okay, guys. So, we have arrived here. Uh, I don't know where we at. But this is uh, where he's at working right now. And I'll see if I can show you guys... So it's right, he, as soon as I pulled up, he saw it right away, but it's it's right there. And I don't know, uh, you see what the... yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, they can see it, it's right there. I don't know where the hell that came from, how that even happened. It doesn't even, you know, I mean, can't be a door ding, because I didn't park next to anything, first of all, that tall. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I don't know, I have no idea how something like that can occur and especially when this mirrors out it's literally the mirrors like right under it protecting it so even if it was a car it hit the mirror before it hits the paint so I have no idea I don't know you have any idea how the hell that can occur no I don't know guys I, I it was not like this from the factory because I just noticed it yesterday and when we were cleaning it I would have noticed that right away so Get me a door. No, that's what I'm saying. There's no way for a door ding. How? I mean, what a rock naked or something? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> it's, yeah, man. It's like, gosh, like just like on my last truck when I had that ding on like the pillar, like right here. It's like, how the hell do I keep getting this shit? I get the worst, uh, worst spots, of dings. Does it have some kind of coating on it? Yeah, ceramic coating. Ceramic coating. Yeah. Why is it? uh 
Is it too smooth for you? Just, just have you roll down the window. Roll down the window? Okay. Let, let me see how. Because if I glue pull it, it probably won't bond to the panel because it's ceramic. Ah, uh, okay. I okay. I don't want to take it off. Yeah, okay. No problemo. So I guess we're going to try a different method, guys. Roll this down. All right. What do you think? I'll have to see. <laughs> okay. So it looks like, see guys, there is some sort of uh, skill involved in this. I wish, you know, uh, I don't know. We caught this before it got ceramic coated, but that's, it's just, I don't know. This is a bunch of BS. And also guys, if you are uh, interested in any of his work, there's his contact right there and his phone number, the Dent Geek. You guys remember him, I use him for multiple, multiple of my vehicles, my friend's cars, uh, the wife's Jeep, everything. He does amazing work and I mean him, as soon as I pulled up, he's, he's like, oh yeah, I see it right there, I spotted it. And it's like, man, you show anybody else and they can't even see it. I can have, I can tell them, look right here and they still won't spot that. Okay guys, so he's not using the glue method. A reason is because of the coating. It might not, you are saying, might not work proper? It might not bond to the panel. Oh, uh, okay. So now he's uh, trying to go through the window here. I guess maybe uh, walk it out through there. Let's see if you can see it on this side. Uh, I, I can't tell. Let's see if he can see it or not. What happened? Okay, so, so right below it, it's factory. I believe there was a nib mark before. There's a what? A nib. Okay. Like a... Uh, when it came out of factory when they spray it. Okay. okay. I don't know if you can zoom in, you can see it. The reason why I know it's a nib, you see that? This little mark, oh yeah, what the hell is that? Um, so if you if you look at this panel through the light, this part here, they try to nib it out, like with a... Uh, what does that mean, nib it out? They, uh, it's body shop turn. Um, they sand it down to try to get it out, and then they polish it. And you can see like the orange peel here, this is back the orange peel. Once you get to this area here, it's really smooth. Like glass, do you see it? Oh yeah, now that you mention it. Yeah, you can see the difference. So what was there then? What was... Why, why would they do that? Why would that happen? Um, I mean, you know, on a brand like, new... Like a, I don't think, I don't... It's not a fisheye, it's just dust that fell into the paint. Oh. And then, and then when the QA catches it, and then they'll send it down and try to polish it. So then you're saying this ding could be? Uh, that I don't know. Okay. I think it's from, from. But you you but you saw, you see a flaw, that's what this little black thing is right there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's weird, you can't even like touch it. Yeah. I can't even. I'm pretty sure you can find more. Every, every car has it. Wow. A brand new car. Wow, look at that guy. So I don't even uh, know, I had no idea, but I guess uh, pretty much this guy will find anything, flaw, any flaw on your car. Uh, he, he saw it, I guess that's from the factory. Uh, you know, I don't know, Ram. You got called out. The Den Geek has uh, found your flaw. So, looks like pretty much what he was saying is they found a flaw and they tried to wet sand it, buff it, and polish it out. And I guess uh, he caught that right away. So, Ram, or whatever company, if you guys uh, sell him a car. Every dealer? Every dealer? Every car, every brand new car. I've seen Escalades. I've seen. Really? Yeah. You can't get away from from dust falling into the vehicle when they paint it. And then when they run it through a light, you know they'll catch it, and then they'll just. Jeez. If, if I didn't point it out to you, you wouldn't. I I never even noticed that. No, I'm. That's crazy. Well, I guess uh, if you guys buy brand new vehicles, you're gonna have flaws everywhere. I guess that's that's <laughs> incredible. It's crazy, you know, for the amount you know of money that vehicles cost now it's just it's amazing that they even have a flaw you know but i guess they do guys it, it is what it is now let's just hope he can uh get this little ding out over here well guys uh note to self and for you if you guys do have any dings dents any flaws in your vehicle uh don't get it ceramic coated because when he sprayed on his i don't know uh what is it just like your cleaner is it alcohol, alcohol? Yeah. so when he sprayed this on there uh it just came right off, beat it right off, and he's worried about it bonding. So he's got to do it through the window the more difficult way. So just FYI, if you guys want to get a ceramic coated, fix all the flaws uh, in your vehicle because that's how good this ceramic coating works and locks you know, everything into the paint. Hey guys, he's going to try again. So the problem he's having now is he cannot get in there. He's going to have to pull the whole panel off. He doesn't want to pull the whole panel off. 
So he's going to try the glue, uh, but he's worried about the glue not, you know, even sticking at all. See how it just... Yeah, it just popped right off. So that's because of the ceramic coating? Yeah. Jeez, okay. Uh, nothing is sticking onto that ceramic. Nothing is sticking. <laughs> okay. I mean, even with, with hot glue. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess, I don't know. The question is, I guess, do what you got to do. I'm trying. So the problem that he's having now, guys, why he can't get it in here, is when he opened the door, it's, what did you say it is? A double? It's, it's basically, the metal is folded together. So I got to get, say. Oh, so you're yeah. trying to get in between. Yeah, in between it. Say the dentist here. I'm trying to get in between that two panel. It's double. It's it's basically folded together. Oh jeez. All right. So you're pretty much saying it's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, just for this little small ding. Just for that little small ding, guys. Look at that. What a mother. Gosh. Okay, guys. So he's trying to currently right now use different chemicals to pull the ceramic off. So the problem we're having is nothing is sticking to it. He does not want to pull this door panel off because he's saying even if he does pull the door panel off, he still might not be able to get to it. Um, I called Genesis Detailing. He's saying your pretty much only option is to, you know, you got to wet sand it. Sometimes you can buff it off. It just all depends. Uh, luckily right now, so Friday, stay tuned, we are going to put another uh, Nick's coming back and he's going to put a top coat. That's going to protect the ceramic even more, give it another uh, protection, and get it to shine even more. So thank goodness we're doing this now uh, because, I mean, he's just trying and nothing. He's even trying some other crazier glue and there's just nothing, nothing sticking to this dang truck. So that's why, guys, I get all my vehicle ceramic coated because, well, protection, I mean, clearly if you get a ding, you're kind of screwed, but protection and how long this stuff lasts and how durable it is. If it was wax, he could probably just take that alcohol and it'll come right off. But he tried with the alcohol and nothing's happening. Okay, guys, so he just uh, it did the, this is like this compound uh, buff and so used something, some other crazy stuff over here. Finally, he got it to stick just enough to be able to pull the dent out. But what that means now is after this, we're gonna go ahead over to see uh, Genesis Detailing and have him reapply the ceramic coating on there, on that layer, spread it so there are no high spots and uh, make sure that's you know ceramic coated and this thing uh, hopefully will be done and have no more issues, man. It's ridiculous, I hate it. All right guys, thank goodness, look at that. Woo, he got it out, there's nothing there. No more ding, dent, whatever the hell you wanna call it. It's officially gone. Oh, thank goodness. I can sleep tonight. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. Look who has arrived. The official Genesis Detail. Don't forget, guys. Go follow his YouTube channel, Official Genesis Detailing. Uh, so while we're here, well, he's going to reapply the ceramic coat on there because uh, he had to pretty much take it off to pull the dent off. So now Nick is here getting ready to reapply it. Yeah, this stuff really does work, guys. I gotta say, that's that's pretty damn amazing. I was a firm non-believer. I was a, yeah, I wasn't a, I'm not gonna say I was a non-believer, but I was a, like, I don't trust that where they say you don't have to wax it for every, like, two years or something like that. That, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna do, but I didn't think, you know, I thought pretty much you could put anything on there and it'll come right off. The guy had to use, like, this compound with this little wheel uh, and pretty much buff it out. Then it came out, it didn't come fully out either. Um, he had to stick some more comp on it, so it took some work to get out. So this stuff does work, guys, uh, and it does it works, you know, amazing. Damn, he does need a car. This thing is dirty. Bro, you never heard of a car wash before? No, this well, fucking asshole has a fucking uh, car wash. <laughs> Damn, it's like I that, huh? <laughs> What's Woo. happening? What's going on? Come on, I'm getting hot. Where do you want to park? You tell me. Am I allowed to park down there? This whole corner. You tell me where it works for you. You want to go like down, like over there? Does that matter? It doesn't matter. Just my car's low. I can't go. I can't go down. You want me to park behind you? Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> my car's low. I can't go down. The pro that, that's that's the perks, guys. of having a car that's uh, freaking a foot off the floor. You can't even freaking go anywhere with it. Jeez. All right, you guys remember this area right here. We are back here in uh, Peter's office, and you know, uh, I guess for some reason, all of a sudden. Got the bunchies over here. <laughs> <laughs> Peter opened up his drawer and uh, he was good, he was successful. All right guys, so now we're back in the garage. Thank goodness the little ding is all gone. Look at that. Woo! It's perfect. Nothing there. 
big huge shout out to the dent geek for taking care of this thing um it's and also you know uh the ceramic we we re-ceramic re coated nick did it so it's all good now uh so hopefully uh nick said just let it you know sit a little bit dry but i mean i had to drive so couldn't really do anything but uh we're gonna just let it sit now and see um you know hopefully it, it stays the same cures proper but so far so good very happy with it I'm just glad we got it out and done and over with and uh, well, hopefully we don't get no more random dings on this thing. I have no idea where that thing came from, but that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.